Hi, I'm Pat. Welcome back to the Hardwire Tackle Box. Uh, today I want to talk to you about fluidizers for not only Stardust, but for your traditional powder coat. Uh, new to the scene is a product called Stardust for powder coating. Virtually unbreakable type powder coat. Great for fishing, jigs, and other stuff. And we were tasked to find a way to see if we could build a fluidizer that would do it. And in conjunction with AK bottom bouncing jigs and hardwire tackle, we came up with a solution to the problem. Uh, first of all, we made two different styles of fluidizers. First is a single stage, and the second is a dual stage. And I'll tell you the benefits of each as we go along here. Um, first of all, each PVC cup has a microfiber membrane in the bottom of it um, and uh, a lid on it so you can put your own colors in there if you choose to add a bunch of different colors and not, don't want to blow them out every time uh, you can leave them in there label them and put them on the shelves that's the first really cool option second one is is if you want to change them out you just unscrew them basically from the bottom and replace them with the color of your choice now, let's talk about the operation and how we get started. First of all, this does not run on a fish pump like the traditional fluid beds do. It takes a little more PSI to suspend the stardust. So what we've done is we hook it up to an air compressor. But before you start that, you want to make sure that your air compressor is turned down to below 10 PSI. And if your air compressor doesn't have a valve on there, you'll have to purchase one from a local hardware store to make sure that you do. Now, there's a certain sequence of steps here, and if you fail to do any one of them in this sequence, you're going to have a yard sale of stardust and or traditional powder coat everywhere. So, first of all, turn your air compressor way down. Um, make sure that the valves at the bases are turned all the way to the right and off. You'll want to remove the cap on the chamber that you're going to use. On this one, it's a dual chamber. It's got a white base in it and then a glow top coat. So I'm going to be using both of these. I'm going to plug in my quick connect to the air compressor and then I'm going to slowly open the valve counterclockwise while I'm looking in the chamber to make sure that I don't just blow it out everywhere. And what I'm looking for is basically to see it lift up. Um, I don't want to make a little volcano out of it. I just want it to lift up and suspend the powder. Once that it is lifted up and it'll come up about, oh, a quarter or half an inch, stop right there. Now that you have that, you can heat up your jig like we've seen in the other videos, dip it in there, heat it up again, and then you can do the other side as well. Flame it and make sure that it's finished off and put it in the water. Now, to when you're all done, you want to reverse the process. You want to back your valves all the way off before you put the caps on them. and then you can disconnect the hose. Now, if I was doing multiple jigs or different colors, the cool thing at this point is, is either with the single or the dual stage, I can simply remove this chamber and either blow it out and then refill it with a different color, or I can have another chamber with the color already in it and screw it down. Once you screw it down on here, you wanna make sure that it seats correctly and firmly so that there's no air leaks, not over tighten it, just finger, good finger tight, and you're back in action again. Um, and then when I'm done, like I said, reverse the process and you're all good to go. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Talk to you soon.